All right, I'm going to show you some papers that they wrote at Cornell about this 2P, 2H particle. It means two holes and two actual glowy particles. You can see those there. The two whites are the glowy particles. The two holes are the black particles. And these can create free energy. They know this. They've already done it, but they don't know how to create these. And we are creating them right here in vast, enormous quantities. In gigantic quantities literally for free okay just so there's no confusion pulsed red laser the red laser particle which is forming the wave because it has a big magnetic region is now accelerated out of the wave this is the 2p2h particle there's two electrons back to back p's and h's particles holes 2P2H understood that it can create free energy if we can make it turn this way, which we did, which is into the muons and the electron showers. Fission, fusion. Okay, this is basically what we did. Spontaneous muon emission during fission. That's what we did. Fission created the muons, a new nuclear radioactivity. Now, they realize they can get, see, it's understanding of the so-called two-particle, two-hole, which is the two pH, the two blacks, two whites, is an urgent program. They, they want to create an urgent program in neutrino interaction physics. Such processes are believed to be responsible for the event excesses. So that means free energy observed by recent neutrino experiments. This goes back to 2013, I believe, somewhere around there. Yeah, 2013. And we were starting to do the same research basically in the same time frame. And it was rejected by everybody, and they just walked away from it. And that, then CERN, uh, uh, Framilab took over, and it's been just nothing since. All right, I'm going to leave it at this for a real short one today. I have hundreds of videos on this, literally hundreds. Dipole electron flood theory says there is nothing but electrons, and they consist of the electron glowy explosive portion and then the muon attached. They call them electron and muon neutrinos in this configuration. Photons are nothing more than two of them back to back because that's nothing more than a bar magnet. And then when we accelerated these we could actually create the separation of the black and the white as I showed, will show, have shown, and will continue to show. And that is my email there's a little bit of engineering to it, but not much. It's not really difficult at all. And these are the particles, as I've shown, will show, have shown, and will show in perpetualness forever. And there's some things that we see here that are very, very difficult to understand.